In this lecture, we will try to understand meaning of complement and solve few examples. Let's take a universal set U having the elements A, E, I, O, U. These are the elements and we can say that our universal set is nothing but set of walls. You must have studied set theory in school and this universal set is also called as universe of discourse. Each and every set is subset of universal set U. Let's take one set A. This is definitely subset of U and the elements are A, E, I. These are the elements of A. Now we want to find out the complement of A. I will use two notations for complement. First one is A bar and second one is A prime. So let's find out complement of A. It is equal to U minus A. U is universal set having elements A, E, I, O, U and A is the set whose complement we want to find and the elements of A are A, E, I. So definitely the elements of A complement are O, U. So O, U are the elements of A complement. So we can say that in complement we involve the elements which are not present in the set. In A, O, U was not present. So we involved OU in A complement. You can definitely prove this. U is equal to A plus A complement. Elements of A are AEI, AEI. Elements of A complement are OU. And this is nothing but the universal set having the elements AEI, OU. So the only thing that you have to keep in your mind is to involve the elements which are not present in this set when you are taking the complement. If I talk about Boolean algebra, then the variable, the variable can have only two values, 0 or 1. This is something we already know. And uh, because of this, the universal set is having only two elements, 0, 1. Let's take one set having the element 0. If I want to take the complement then I will have this set in which element will be 1. In the same way if there is another set B having the element 1 and B complement will have the element 0. So simply complement of 0 is 1 and complement of 1 is 0. Complement of 0 is 1 and complement of 1 is 0. This is very important point that you should keep in your mind while solving the problems on complement. Now we will try to find out complement of functions. Function is f and it is equal to a complement b or b complement a. This is the function and we want to find out f complement. We have already studied de Morgan's law and we are going to use de Morgan's law to find out f complement. In de Morgan's law we have to exchange and with or and or with and and is represented by dot and or is represented by plus 0 is exchanged with 1 and 1 is exchanged with 0 we know why and we have to take the complement of each variable complement of each variable these are the points you should keep handy while solving the problems on complement so let's find out f complement quickly A complement and B or B complement and A and its whole complement. Uh, let's say A complement and B is equal to L and B complement and A is equal to capital M. So F complement is equal to L or M and then it's complement. Right? And uh, you already know from de Morgan's law we have to complement each variable so L is going to be L complement. This plus we have to replace with dot. This represents we are converting or to end and this M will now return as M complement. If you have A replace it with A complement and if you have A complement replace it with A. This is what we have to do in this last point and we have already done this. L is now written as L complement, M is now written as M complement. Now we will put the values of L and M, so A complement and B, its whole complement and 
B complement and A its whole complement we have to open this by using De Morgan's law A complement and then its complement will give us A this and we have to write as or B will now written as B complement and B complement and its complement is B this end will now written as R and A will be written as A complement so this is the answer this is the F complement you can definitely open this bracket and you will have A and B or A and A complement or B complement and B or B complement and A complement right a and A complement, B and B complement, both are zero. So we will have A and B or A complement and B complement. This is F complement. So this is what we have. And if you have any idea about logic gates, then this is A XOR B. This is A XOR B. And uh, after taking its complement, we are getting A XOR B. We will discuss them in a logic gate presentation. Now we will try to solve another problem. The function is g and it is equal to a and b and c or a complement and b and c or a and b complement and c. This is the function and we have to find out g complement. I'm not going to solve this. You know how to solve this. You have all the rules in your hand. So go ahead and solve this. Once you have your answer, post it in the comment section. This is all for this presentation. This is your homework problem. This is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.